everyone, Chris here from Real Rideshare Stories. On this channel, we do a lot of different things within the rideshare industry, so if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. But before we get started, if you have a crazy Uber Lyft experience, whether you're a passenger or a driver, record it, send it my way, and maybe we can feature you on the channel. So AB5 update. I mean, that seems like everything is AB5 this, AB5 that. So if you're watching this and you haven't heard what AB5 is, you must be living under a rock, especially in California. So real quick, we're gonna go over what it is, where it's at, the update of what happened yesterday, where it's going next, and uh, we're gonna keep it real short and simple, hopefully for you guys. So. Uh, first off, what is AB5? AB5 is a bill that was introduced by State Assembly, uh, which was passed already uh, back in May, I believe, uh, where it was deemed that uh, changing the classification of gig economy workers like Uber, Lyft, Instacart, DoorDash, Postmates, every other one under the sun, um, from employee or I'm sorry, from independent contractor status to um, employee status and it uses a ABC test uh, which was a court case that was heard last year uh, called a Diamond X uh, independent contractor issue where they misclassified um, workers as independent contractors versus employees uh, so it kind of opened up this whole can of worms for um, gig workers to challenge their uh, status as independent contractors to um, employees. Now, I've voiced my concern on this many times before, but I also have, you know, really looked at different things. Um, and I'm not really going to give my opinions on this one. I'm only going to share with you guys what, um, sorry, what's going on, uh, where it's at. But yeah, so far it's a reclassification bill from. Uh, independent contractor status to employee status in the state of California. Uh, so I pulled up an article on Gizmodo. If you are interested in reading the article in full, uh, you can check that out. Uh, I will leave a link in the description below, uh, but I'm going to do a couple of highlights right now. Um, so first, it's titled, Workers Rack Up Another Victory as California Preps uh, to classify Uber and Lyft drivers as employees. Now, it's just not Uber and Lyft, it's all of the gig economy. So if you do Instacart, Instacart DoorDash, Uber Eats, um, Postmates, any of these things, Amazon um, delivery, uh, whatever that is, um, I haven't really got too much into that one. Uh, but yeah, any of those that are considered independent contractors uh, will be deemed now employees if this passes. Um, so rideshare drivers, uh, in California turned out in droves to support a state bill that would classify them as full employees. Uh, they walked away this afternoon, which was yesterday, the vote happened yesterday in a, in a subcommittee essentially, um, and it that passed three to one, uh, just to let you guys know. So that's going to now a new another committee uh, where they will take a vote, and if it passes in that committee, uh, it will go to the floor of the Senate and if it goes to the floor of the Senate and they get a vote, it could either go yes or no. If it goes yes, that means it's going to the uh, governor's office to be signed. Um, if they vote no, it's kind of dead in the water. So you'll see a lot of things happening between Uber and Lyft uh, with the dr trying to sway drivers um, and a lot of drivers, rights activist groups, uh, like gig economy worker groups and different things where they want to have in employment status or they want to have better conditions. Um, there's a lot of different things that they're wor working for. So um, AB5, a lot of people are in support of it and a lot of people are against it. Um, it's you know, I, I can't speak for everybody else. I know my opinions and what I think, um, which I guess I'll share li like right at the end, but that's it. Uh, and I'm only going to go into it real quick. Um, but yeah, rideshare drivers in California turned out in support of a state bill that will classify them as full employees. Um, they walked away this afternoon with a victory in what is likely to continue to be a long and ugly fight. So first, it was introduced to the State Assembly in January as Assembly Bill 5, or AB 5, by Lorena Gonzalez, who is a representative um, in California for the State Assembly. 
Um, the bill codifies and expands the landmarks to the Supreme Court, state Supreme Court ruling last May, which wrestled with the same employment classification issue. Um, in determining whether a worker is a true independent contractor, as Uber, Lyft, and other gig economy platforms contend, or employees, there are a number of legal tests in simple terms suss out whether the laborer has sufficient say in how and when the work is completed. California's Supreme Court, in applying uh, the broader ABC test, decided contract drivers working for delivery firm Diamondx were improperly classified, opening the door for gig workers across the state to challenge their own status. Uh, so that's how AB5 kind of came about. Um, in an email to Gizmodo, Samantha Galagos, a spokeswoman for uh, Gonzalez, wrote, the gig economy companies are likely already misclassifying their workers under Dynam Dynamex decision. Assembly Bill 5 will codify this decision and bring clarity to, the, to those professions and industries in which workers actually do operate as independent contractors. AB5 overwhelmingly passed this past uh, May, yeah, May 53 to 11. So now it's, again, like I said, going into the Senate. It did pass yesterday in a three to one in the committee, um, which uh, does it say what it was, which committee? No, it doesn't say, um, but I do know that it is going to uh, the next committee bill. Um, let's see, benefits, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, Rideshare companies have given their gloats. You know, so one of the big things that you see Uber and Lyft are trying to get you to sign a petition. It's very vague. A lot of uh, um, employees, or I mean, I'm sorry, drivers who may be considered employees in the near future. Um, they are. They were had signed the petition and saying later that they regretted doing it. Um, because you know it undermines their own chances of employee classification. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily that or if it's that they feel like they didn't get anything out of it. Um, you hear a lot of people will say that uh, don't sign the petition yet unless you have something in writing um, where Uber and Lyft might do something. So maybe better pay, driver protections, all these different things. Um, so Uber and Lyft held a rally outside the Capitol with dozens of drivers and their supporters from around the state. Drivers were handed I'm Independent t-shirts and ate free lunch from half a dozen food trucks and companies hired. Some of them were paid from a lot of reports and things that I've heard um, in comments. I haven't verified it, but I've heard it. Um, they were being paid $100 to go um, to stand there for a few hours when, hey, you could probably drive and make more money doing that. Um, but okay, um, again, don't don't take that. Take that with a grain of salt because I haven't verified it yet. Um, and I'm not really a journalist to go and find that out either. So that's one thing. <laughs> All right. Um, in the end, the pro AB5 group, which consisted of drivers, activist groups like Gig Workers Rising, Rideshare, Drivers United, Fight for 15, and trade groups like Service Employees International Union came out victorious. Um, so the Retirement Committee of the California Senate voted in favor of the bill. So that was the committee. It was the Retirement Committee of the uh, California Senate, uh, and they voted three to one. So AB5 made it this far, despite the deep ties California has to these companies like Uber, Lyft, and some other gig economies, because many of them are based in California. Um, so it's uh, showing how much of a great deal drivers have been able to shift public opinion on the gig economy itself. Um, so the fight is far from over. The, states, uh, the state Senate Appropriations Committee is going to hear the bill next. Um, and if it's passed there, like I said, it will go to a full Senate vote um, on the floor. And assuming if that goes well, uh, Gonzalez's team expects the law to go into effect January 1st, 2020. Um, so, yeah, there's still a couple more things that needs to go through, um, which means it needs to go to um, the Senate Appropriations Committee, which we'll hear it next. Um, pass there, full Senate vote. If it passes there, it goes to the governor's office where it could be vetoed or signed into law. 
and they, uh, Gonzalez's team is expecting this to pass in the Senate and is, and is expecting this to pass um, going uh, and actually taking effect January 1st, 2020. Um, so if you're in California, um, there's going to be some big changes, but all eyes are there even, even outside that state. All over the world, it's essentially um, all eyes on there because that can open the door for a lot of different things. Um, as of right now, we don't know what's going to happen to drivers. You don't know if there's going to be like uh, part-time, full-time shifts um, that you have to do. Like nothing is really known because nobody knows if it's going to be law or not yet. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of different things, but you can kind of speculate a number of different things. Um, you know, one of the biggest questions is, you know, if you're making an hourly rate, rate that's cool, but what's going to happen? Are you still using your own car? Are you going to get a stipend um, like for gas or for mileage or whatever it might be? Um, I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, so there's a lot of questions that still need to be answered. Um, my opinion has kind of shifted a little bit to the point where I still like being an independent contractor, even though we really aren't when you really, really look at it. Um, the only thing you can do is go online and offline when you want and accept or deny rides. Um, that's really all you have when it comes to um, what you can and can't say. Um, so I think that I would like to keep my independent contractor status, but I also think that Uber and Lyft and other gig platforms need to um, provide better working conditions for everybody, especially drivers. So there needs to be something like driver protection. So if there's people who are deactivated, um, there needs to be an appeal process instead of just saying, oh, decision's final and that's too bad. Uh, there needs to be an appeal process. There needs to be some protections there. Uh, there needs to be protections against false reports from people who are trying to scam uh, and get money because they'll just take money out of your uh, pay even though they're trying to scam you. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things there. Um, also, you know, better rates. Uh, that's a big one. If, if drivers were getting better rates or previous rates from what they used to get instead of just being nickeled and dimed out of things, um, you know, that causes problems. So like I said, my opinion is that I like to, to keep independent contract status because I want to keep the flexibility because I want to keep um, those things, but I want to see and I want to stand with everybody else who wants better protections for drivers, who wants more uh, pay rate, better pay rates, better um, working conditions. You know, safety uh, is a big concern too. So if these companies are held to a higher standard where there's a mix between employment and independent contractor, um, then that would be great. If there's a way to negotiate uh, rate fares, if there's a way to negotiate um, different things with the company itself, uh, then that can be a much better situation. Um, even being able to provide you know, bene certain benefits could be good. Um, and it's going to be good for a lot of people who use Uber and Lyft um, for either full-time or need it for income or whatever it might be. Um, so it's good there. And um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's all I'm really going to say on that. I don't want to dive too much into it because, yes, there is speculation on it. Um, the biggest thing, though, is use your head. It's common sense. Look at every other job out there with employment, um, and you can kind of see what things could be or possibly. Um, so, hey, again, it's your choice. It's what you guys think is best for yourself. You're the driver. You're your own driver. Um, do you, if you're going to be an employee, uh, you might be. If you want to be an independent contractor, you might be. Um, you might stay. Who knows? Um, but it's very possible that uh, AB5 will pass uh, in the Senate. It's very likely from what the um, what Gonzalez's team thinks. Uh, yes, she drafted the legislation as a sponsor of it, uh, so she's hoping it'll pass, but um, it might pass. It's probably looking like it will. I don't know, though. Like I said, it still has to go to the Senate Appropriations Committee, um, and then it needs to go to the Senate floor. Uh, so there's still going to be a lot of things going ahead, a lot of fight. You're going to he probably hear from a lot of drivers 
um, receiving things from uh, Uber and Lyft and other gig platforms um, saying to try to oppose this or sign a petition or uh, contact lawmakers. Um, but you know what? Whatever you think is your best uh, way where you're going to be represented as you being the driver in the best way, make your decision that way. Um, with that being said, though, that's the end of today's video. I'm sure I will make more videos on this as it goes. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, whatever you think is best for you, continue, continue fighting it that way, however you decide. Uh, my opinion is my opinion and my thoughts are my thoughts. Um, and they will change as you, know, you can find out more information from Uber and Lyft and how they'll operate as employee um, employers or if they can change independent contractor and keep that status um, or whatnot but time will tell um, and as there are updates to it you know I will keep you guys posted um, at least on what I can tell you um, but with that being said though that's the end of today's video so make sure you hit that subscribe button ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified for all of our upcoming videos including any update videos to AB5 uh, and what it might mean or if Uber and Lyft decide to come out and um, you know give different concessions on things that are actual things not just free food and a t-shirt um, because that's not going to fly, um, especially for a lot of drivers. But yes, make sure you do that. Give this video a thumbs up. And as always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers, and we'll see you next time.